Oh, hearty good morning to every one of you this morning and all those of you joining us on the World Wide Web. It's a pleasure to share your space as we are live streaming now. <laughs> so you can join us wherever you are and just sit and listen and hear all that God is saying to us. You know, it's always a pleasure to just share your company and for this this hour that we have every Monday morning, it is always a pleasure, as Pastor Mario was saying, as we get to communicate the thoughts of God and just hear what He's saying to us as He positions us for every season of our lives. So I trust that this morning we'll be even more strengthened and encouraged to go even further along our journey. Amen. Amen. Good morning, John and Tobago, and all those being locked on on the World Wide Web. Mr. Carl, good morning. We can hear you. Good morning. <laughs> I can see you. It's a pleasure being here again, TNT, yes. uh, in your space, wherever you are this morning, uh, in your, your boat, your car, your plane. Uh, because of technology, we know that we can, it's now the game has changed. We can be anywhere, um, people from different nations, and uh, maybe it's in the morning uh, where you are, as we are here uh, in Toronto, Tobago. Uh, evening, whatever time zone you're in, it's a pleasure to be with you, to be in your company this morning. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. It's a day that yes, the Lord is. has made. Yeah. And so we are thankful to God for allowing us this wonderful opportunity to come into your space, wherever you are, and to bring you words of encouragement, words that will strengthen you, words that will help to channel you towards the God who made you. Yeah. And that's what we hear about, just to communicate God's heart, His mind, His desires. And I think it's a wonderful privilege. I mean, you can get a better job than communicating uh, thoughts from the one who made humanity, yeah. you know, the architect of the universe. I mean, that's a big job, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the one who made everything that there is. You know, he's God Almighty. Amen. And, and, and not only is he God Almighty, but he's our Father. Yeah. And that every one of us who are in Christ Jesus, he is our Father. Yeah. And so, Father, we thank you this morning for this yes, beautiful Lord. day, this beautiful yes. privilege you've yes. afforded us to stand and speak on your behalf. Yes, Lord. Lord, to encourage and channel the hearts of men towards you. Yes. Thank you for being God. Thank, thank you for who you are. Thank yes, you for your Lord. wonderful presence and the privilege you've afforded us as your children. Yes, thank Lord. you for this beautiful land. Yes. Of to yes, thank Lord. you for your purposes you. that is being advanced, that is advancing in yes, the land Lord. of John Tobago. Thank, thank you for your goodness. You, Father, we bless you. Yes, you Lord. Are God. We thank you, Lord. You are thank our you, Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. We speak of you highly. Yes, Lord. You are perfect in all of your ways. There's no one like you. Yes, Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. Yes, Lord. Be glorified, be magnified, be exalted yes, this morning Lord. Thank in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Well, 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 well. The days have gone by so quickly. I felt as if we were just here um, Monday last week. Monday seems like two days ago. Mm -hmm. Time is going by. I assume that the earth is probably spinning a little bit faster. Uh, however, uh, it's a pleasure again to be here. I want to share with you this morning a thought that I really felt the Lord uh, release in my heart. And he wants me to ask you some questions. And as I listened to the things that he said, I was amazed because oftentimes... You know, we are quick to speak as human beings, uh, but oftentimes we don't really know the depth of the things that we, we are saying. And oftentimes we think we believe the things that we say. Um, and even what we would have, the things that we read in the scriptures about God and, and stuff like that. But the Lord wants us to, as it were, stand before a mirror this morning as he asked these questions, and I, I try to take, uh, uh, take note of them as, as best as I can, and I just want to release them to you the way he gave them to me. And as you stand in the mirror, I trust that you would understand the reason why he is asking these questions, because he wants to respond, and he wants to move you from where you are to where he wants you to be. So... If you believe, uh, let, me, let, me, let me begin from the top. What is your belief concerning God? What is your belief concerning God? So you're thinking, what is your belief concerning God? If you say that you believe he is the creator, almighty, all-knowing, all-wise, cannot lie, and perfect, 
then, why do you believe these things concerning God? What or who is responsible for shaping your belief? Is your belief based on your experience with God? Or is it based upon what you have heard from others? These are questions. If you truly believe that God is who he said, who you said he is, because let's assume you say that he's, he's a creator, he's almighty, uh, he's all-knowing, he's all-wise, he cannot lie, he's, and he's perfect. So let's assume that you are saying these things. This is what you've said about God. And so he's asking, what, 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 you know, what is the backdrop of your belief? Where it came from? Who helped to shape that? Um, is it through your personal experience, through your difficulties, you've experienced God? Or is it based upon what others said? And that's what he's asking. Now, having said all of that, if you truly believe that God is who you said he is, why don't you trust him to do what he's capable of doing? If you don't trust him, could it be that you don't truly believe what you said about God? If you don't trust him, could it be that you don't really believe what you said about God? If you believe that God is all wise, why don't you believe and receive his counsel on any matter? If you believe he's all wise. Of course, if you believe that somebody is all wise, obviously you would not think twice to listen and respond to whatever they say. And I wanted to hear this. I'm, I'm just communicating to you what he told me, exactly what he told me. And so it is for you to now begin to uh, judge um, your, what you said about God. You stand before the mirror and ask yourself these questions. Why don't you believe them? If you say that he's all of this, why don't you believe? If you believe, I want to repeat, if you believe that God is all wise, why don't you believe and receive his counsel on any matter? If you believe that he is all-knowing, why don't you believe what he has shown you? If you believe he's all-knowing, why don't you believe what he has shown you? If you believe that he is almighty, why don't you believe that he can deliver you? If you believe that he can't lie, why don't you believe what he has told you? If you believe he can't lie, why don't you believe what he has told you? If you believe he is perfect, why do you think that he has made a mistake? If you say that you believe that he is the creator, why don't you believe what he is, he can still do? What a person believes is what he or she will trust. I believe that the Lord wants you to see your position in terms of your belief. Because what you think you believe about God you don't truly believe. <laughs> and he wants that to change. He wants all of that to change. However, he wants you to believe. God wants you to believe him. He wants you to believe him. He wants you to believe him. If you believe him, you will see his glory. For his glory is the manifestation of himself. Now, these are the things he told me to share with you. And as I listened to what he said, and I thought, my goodness, uh, even me, myself, I thought, I know I'm coming to you to release these thoughts to you. But it ministered to me, too, standing in the light of what he said. Could you, could you just imagine this with me? You believe that somebody cannot lie. Okay? Then, of course, 
whatever that person tells you, you are going to believe. And your belief in what that person said would be manifested in your trust, your attitude, your trust. Is going to show that you believe because you know this person cannot lie. You believe that this person is the creator. Obviously, this person is that. They don't just do creative things. That's who they are. Now, if that person is that, obviously, he can still create because that's who he is. But do you believe? And so, oftentimes, what the Lord is saying to us, oftentimes we've made all of the we said we say all of these things about God. But do we really believe? And if you, if you and I were to ask ourselves this question, do I really believe what God said about himself? Or the things that I say that God is, do I really believe them? Or am I just saying it because I heard it? So what the Lord wants us to know this morning is that if we truly believe him, our actions would show that. If we truly believe that the things we have said or are saying about God, our action will show that. And you know, when I think of this, I thought, my goodness, if I believe that God is almighty, almighty means he has all the power. He can do anything. He has the ability. Yes. Then if I truly, not only saying, if I truly believe he has the ability, then I'm going to rest because, I mean, regardless of what, what the situation is, what the circumstances is, nothing is more powerful than God. Yeah. Well, you hear about this OB woman and this OB man. Oh, I can rest. Ah, you hear about this, oh, the devil, he's a fallen angel. Glory to God. And so, because my belief, there's a strength. There is a peace. Yeah. There is rest. Because everything that I said about God, I believe. Yeah. And because I believe what I said about God, it is visible in my attitude. So then, where fear came from? If we believe that he's all of this, why are you fearful? If you believe he's all of this, why are you afraid? So, just as he said, could it be that the things you've said about God, that you don't believe them? So what the Lord wants, he wants believers. He said, well, I'm a believer in Christ. Of course, you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. I mean, you, you, you give your heart to him. Amen. That's wonderful. But God don't want it just to stay there. He wants you to believe everything he said about himself. Yes. So it's not just in the scripture we read, okay, God, we see in the scripture, God is mighty, almighty. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is almighty. Good. Do you believe that? Well, I think so. Hey, I'm under under. Ah, ah, ah. No, you don't believe. Hmm. Whatever the city was, that's what he's saying. As, as simple as this, he puts us before the mirror, and we are looking in the mirror, each of us individually, and we are asking ourselves, he's asking us these questions, and we are now looking at the mirror, uh, knowing the things that we have said about God, and then finally we are coming to the realization that, hey, I really don't believe. But what do you mean you don't believe? Well, my actions show that I don't believe. Well, God cannot lie. God cannot lie. God can lie? No, he can't. Okay, do you believe that? Well, of course. He, he, he's a big man up there. Okay, what, do, you, do you believe he can't lie? God can't lie? But do you believe it? Yes. Now, when he tells you to do something that seems impossible, why are you holding back? Why are you afraid? Why don't you trust? If you believe, and I'm just going back what he says to us, if you believe he's all-knowing, that means he knows everything about everything, and every place, and every person, and every thought, and every thought, and every imagination. He knows all of that. He sees all of that. If you believe, I believe that this, this God knows all things. He sees all things. Obviously, if you know that somebody knows all things, sees all things, and they're showing you something and tell you this is red and black, obviously everything the person said, you're going to take it, you're going to believe it. Because that's what a person is. 
But the truth is, let us begin to examine ourselves. In all of our responses, in the midst of the situation that we have faced individually and are facing, what is our attitude? Is it an attitude that says, I believe God, or is it an attitude that says, God, you're a liar? Is it an attitude that says, Lord, this is nothing for you to do? Or is it an attitude, I don't know, I wonder if he can do this. This is so out of, I don't know. Then all the confession you're making are only words. So now the Holy Spirit said, let what you are saying about God become your attitude. So he wants us. The God who created the heavens and the earth, because there's only one God. There's only yeah. one true God. Yeah. People have all kinds of things they call God. But there's only one true God. Amen. And he is the creator yes. of the heavens and the earth. He yeah. said to Moses, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. There's no other. Hallelujah. No other. Yes. Glory to God. And so he is the one saying to us. And, 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 and you know, this is amazing. Listening to this, hearing all of this, I myself... I'm listening to them say, looking in the mirror, do you believe all the things that you're saying about God? So, hmm. Now, look at the attitude. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and they didn't see them that light. And God has a way, whenever he speaks, he puts, as it were, the mirror before us. And we can judge ourselves. And I know all of you listening to me, every one of you listening to me are saying, oh my gosh, I really thought I believed. I really thought I believe. I said all of these things about God. He's a, he's a miracle worker and all of that. But you're fearful. A little roach run inside. Ah, what is that? <laughs> a roach. Excuse me. A roach. A roach. <laughs> Running from probably a, a lizard trying to eat it. <laughs> Do you believe? People, mm. listen to me. Let's, let's just, just stop all the talking. That's what the Lord is saying to us. And now let's get some action. What the Lord is asking, what the Lord is saying to us, let your attitude, and I said it before, I'm going to repeat it again. Let your attitude show that you believe me. Let your responses, let your response in everything that I've asked you. I tell you to give this, but Lord, if I give this, um, I don't know how I'm going to over. Hey, is he almighty? Is he all powerful? Is he all knowing? He knows what is going to happen after. He is not a God that will let you walk through time. You know, every, everything God requires of us, he knows what he's going to do. Do you believe him? No. So he calls you to step into the unknown to you, which is known to him. What is already known to him is unknown to you. If he says step, man, woman, boy, girl, just step, step in Jesus' name. Because he knows what he's doing. He sees it all before. And he knows, what, he knows what he's requiring of you. And he told me to tell you. He wants you to see your position. And the reason why he wants it, not to condemn, but for you to make the shift. To see yourself and now come to the realization, Lord, forgive me. I really thought I believed you. I really thought the things that I said, I really believed them. But I realized I was an unbeliever. Have you ever seen an unbelieving believer? Unbeliever. Now, I am going to believe. Because everything that I said that you are, all-knowing, all-wise, all-powerful, the creator, that's who you are. Yes. And you still use, you are still that. And that will not change because you said, I, the Lord, I change none. So that's who you are. And if that's who you are, that's who you will continue to be. Yes. And if that's who you continue to be, I believe. Yes, yes. Then what he says from then on, you just go through it with ease because you know the ability that he has, the ability he possesses. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. no. Pastor, whoa, whoa is right. Whoa is right. Go ahead. Such a challenging word, oh, really, allows us to truly stand before the mirror of His word, this, and see ourselves first. Always, all about us. This is what He wants us to come into a place where we can see ourselves really in Him. 
because he's his word and his word is him. Yes, yes. And you know, it is is an it's an awesome thing. Because really and truly, the walk of a Christian, and we profess to be Christians, believing believers, is shown clearly in our responses, That's in it. our attitudes, as you pointed out, Prophet. All that we have declared publicly about God, we will be challenged in every way to be sure that we understand that all words line up with our responses. That's it, right there. And it's, it's, it's really awesome, but it is a privilege. He gives us this privilege to come to Him, to line ourselves back up with what He's saying. It's a walk of faith for us. It is a walk of faith for every believer in every situation, every circumstance that comes before us. Really and truly, it is a test. A test for me to see, okay, would I move forward and allow him to be God? Allow him to be the strength I de that I've declared him to be? Yes. Allow him to be the answer to this situation? Or would I begin to doubt, as you indicated, and allow fear, because doubt is that doorway that I opened and f mm -hmm. I open and fear comes in. And fear doesn't walk alone. He brings all the, the other negatives like confusion mm -hmm. and a, a whole spirit of restlessness, restlessness. and unease. Yeah. And where yeah. God now is, is made to stand aside and allow all these negatives to rule. Yeah. That is not the attitude of a believer. Yes, of a believing believer. Believing believer. But he's awesome and in his goodness, he's really dispensing grace to us. That's people. what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Giving oh, grace always. so that we can <laughs> see truly and we'll no longer be fooled. This is where we are. This is where I am. Thanks be to God for the grace and the gift of reconciliation. Yes, 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 that we yes. come to the throne of grace and we just repent yes, mm -hmm. honestly yes, and openly yes, before yes, Him. Yes. And we take up our positions now. Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I will allow you to direct my peace. Yes, Lord, right. I will allow you to, uh, uh, to walk with me through this because not every situation He is going to remove from before us. There are some situations we have to walk through. That's right. We have to mm -hmm. stick with the, what we've come to know of Him and keep declaring that. Yes, He is the Almighty One. He has already made a way through this. We have to stick with that and stick with that and be declaring that. Just as we declare over our nation, this is a blessed land. This is a good land. Yes. This is not a land that devours its people. This is a beacon to the nations. It's the same way really for us in our individual lives. Declaring what He has spoken. Declaring His decree yes. in mm -hmm. every situation. Yes. Yeah. So He's calling us now to get on board and realize, yes, this is the path that we have chosen. He has laid it out for us already. Let's just flow with Him. Yes, and you know, it's so interesting that God always, as it were, shows to us where we are and where we think we are, so He would arrange certain situations. <laughs> where we think, exactly. where we, we, think we are, you know, He would arrange certain yeah. situations to show us exactly where we are in terms of our yeah. faith and our confidence yeah, in Him. And, you know, I'm reminded of a, a story where there were two farmers and they were each plowing the land as it were and there was no rain for a, a particular season and both of them were praying for rain but one went out god said he's sending the rain one went out ahead of time before the rain came and he plowed the field mm -hmm. in expectance that hey the rain is coming That's the i prayed and i asked god he said yes, he's going to yes, send it yes. so i'm going out in faith and i'm plowing the land because I know that when I step out in this act of faith, as it were, I will see God do exactly what he said he would do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's the same with us and God in that God expects us often to step out in faith with him. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it's easy for us to step out when we see all of the pieces, as it were, line up and we see, yeah. okay, so I can connect this, that to there. Okay, I, I, see, I see where you're going, Lord. But when he doesn't show you, as it were, the road ahead That's it. and he says, mm -hmm. walk with me, step. Yes. That's that's when we really understand how much faith and confidence we have yeah, in God. In God. Uh, yeah, because we we seeing for ourselves, we can have confidence in our own ability. But when we 
when God has it will take away our sight, our natural ability oh, to see how things connect mm -hmm. is when we are able to see, hey, yeah, okay, I really trust God because I don't know, Lord, I don't know ahead of me. I can't see even my hand. I can't see in front of me, yes. but I'm stepping on your word because you said step in this direction. Mm -hmm. And that is what God desires of us. He desires our, our confidence level, as it were, in him to be at, at such a, yeah, at such a level that, that whenever he speaks, whatever he requires of us, we step in that in that faith and that confidence knowing that he has already provided everything he has already made the way he has already directed us in such a way that will not do us harm but will do us good and that will lead us in his will and his will is perfect it is good it is acceptable and he would never lead us wrong because we have declared so many things as, as prophet was just saying about who we who we believe god to be but there will always be tests and, and situations that will arise that will show us, hey, yeah, this is who I really am. Because, you know, God, God spoke to, to Moses when he was dealing with the children of Israel and he said some things about himself. And everything that God passed the children of Israel through was really showing them a manifestation of all that he had already said about himself. You know, God, God allowed the situation at the Red Sea, you know, where... The, the armies were coming and Lord, your deliverer, your 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 all of these things. So I need you to manifest your delivering power as it yes, were. Yes. And you know, he orchestrated all of those events and it was just to build that level of faith and that confidence so that they can see for themselves. I, I told you this is who I am, but yes. I'm not gonna show you. Yes. I'm not yes. going to demonstrate my ability, my yes. my myself to you. And that is what God desires to do for each one of us. He desires to demonstrate his ability to us and he just requires our trust and our confidence in to be him. in him. You know, this is, uh, it, it, it was it was it was um saddening in a sense that um um many of us can fool ourselves mm. by thinking yeah. that we really do believe because we say it or because we can memorize it yeah and in action it has so god is so wise uh, that he uh in the way he brought it out to us uh this morning that we can begin to wait really i never i never saw it that way yeah i never really have been that way because all of my attitude and i said it i said it before and i said it again all of my attitude as we examine ourselves is not lining up to one who really believe god yeah because the more we believe is the more we rest yes. mm. there's no anxiety there's no worrying mm. the fact that you worry because you really don't believe ah. see anxiety arise because you don't believe mm. if we believe there is peace yeah there is rest ah. there is confidence you're living a different realm because you trust the God who is the ability yeah. and can do everything he said. Yes. Wow. And all of his all of his ability is available to you wow. if you only believe. Wow. Wow. All so of he, his said, he says, wow. about, go to the big he said, because many think they believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I want to expose the positions of each one oh, yeah. so what he's actually doing what, what he has done this morning is that he is exposing our positions mm -hmm. in terms of our belief in him and the things that we voiced yeah. so when we say god you are all wise then it means whatever mm -hmm. counsel he gives i trust it yeah. one i don't care who said what if God says this, whatever he says on any matter, I can lie down and rest because he is all wise. Wow. And like he said, if you believe that I'm perfect, then why do you think I can make mistakes? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my. It is as if he shows that there's a, there's a pattern. Mm. Yeah. Why do you think? Why do you think I can make mistakes? Mm. So when, I, when, I, when I'm doing something... And you, God had to be a mistake. It can't be me, like Lord. It can't be me. Uh, of all persons, yes. it can't. Lord, you make a mistake. Just zip mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Just zip, mm -hmm. zip. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> He can't make mistakes. Yeah. People, God cannot make mistakes. Yes. It is impossible yeah. for perfection to make mistakes. No. We humans, we are not perfect. We are striving towards perfection. But God is already perfect. Yeah. 
So now we have to we have now revisit everything we are saying now about God. Because mm -hmm. what he's saying, don't let it be words. I want to see your actions. So what he what he will do, what he has done, is that he will create the situation. Not because <laughs> Uh, let me just let me just say this. Let me say it in this way. He will create the situation to allow us to see where we are positioned. Yeah. But the main purpose of this is to get us to the place of believing yeah. without wavering. And. You know, while we're coming in, in, in the vehicle, I was saying with you, I told you all, just to hear him say the things that he said, and I, I didn't share with you, so you're all hearing it now for the first time. <laughs> right. um, I was amazed, and I just said, Lord, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So, wherever you are today, in the situation and circumstances, probably some of, some of which God initiates, initiated and some of it you by omission have brought yourself into but God can turn it around what he's asking of you is this whatever you say about me is right in that I am the creator I am still that the same ability that you see manifested in the universe, creating all things, and the design, the shape of them, I am still that God. I am still all-knowing. <laughs> so, what if I tell you, know that I see the full picture of it. So you, you just see a little, I allow you to see just a little bit, but I see the full span from the beginning to the end. So he began the beginning, he ended it. And he called those things, set, set them in order. The whole picture of eternity, what, what is for us future is all God's now. And this all wise, all knowing, cannot lie. Yeah. Perfect. All of him is available to you. So kick out the doubt. Don't, don't just say it anymore to all of us. Let us now truly believe it. And you would know if you truly believe. If there's fear, no, you don't believe. Doubting, you don't believe. Anxiety, you don't believe. Worrying, you don't believe. So just zip up. Lord, Lord, I believe you. I'm just saying, no, you know, it's, it's just human to be fearful. But Lord, I believe, no, 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 no. <laughs> Unwavering faith Amen. is what he's calling for. Amen. Unswerving. Yes. And he's saying to us this morning, now that our position has been located and each of us are able to see where we are, now he says, repent. Yes. Repent. Now just confess that is also needed. Change your mind. Yes. And now, let your attitude show that you believe me. Let your attitude, sir, you are sick, whatever, whatever the situation is, whatever the circumstance may be, madam, whatever the Lord has called you to do, uh, what he has called you to release from your hands, whatever it is, once you know that you know that you know it is God, you have nothing to lose in obeying God. Yes. And God has not planned any defeat for you, so you're not going to be defeated. Yes. Because a God who spoke the universe into being out of nothing just by his word mm -hmm. is the same yes. God today. Yes. Yes. He has yes. not changed yes. all the ability yes. that was released in forming the universe. Yes. He still has it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I mean, I want to dance. I Thank don't know what kind of dance. <laughs> <laughs> he still has it. Yes. And if he has it, yes. what, do you get? What, would, what else would you expect? He can do it. Ah, yes. 
Oh, come on, let's bless his name this yeah. morning. Mm-hmm. Father, we thank, thank you. We you, thank yes, you that you're still yes. young. Oh you're God. still yes, the same, the same yes, yesterday, you are, Lord. today, yes, you are. and forever. Yes. Lord, yes. help us not only to say these yes. things, but to know that, to believe it, yes. and that our yes. attitude show that we believe it. Yes, that you Lord. are the same yesterday, yes, today, Father. and yes. forever. Thank you, you will never change. You thank cannot you, change. Yes. Thank Father, we thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for releasing your thoughts Yes, Lord. Thank you for causing our faith to rise to a new level. Thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord. Allowing our positions yes, to be located. Yes, thank Lord. you, Lord, thank for you, the Father. transformation. Yes, that Lord. People will now yes. believe you. The yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, there's nothing thank impossible you, with you. Even though we don't understand all that you're doing, Father God, yes, your Lord. ways are perfect. perfect. Yes, Lord. That's who you are. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We, we sit on this platform. There is no yes. God like you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed Hallelujah. Your Lord. Yes, Lord. And those who trust thank in you will you. not be ashamed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank, Thank you. So you will not be ashamed if you trust Thank in God. You, Madam, yes. you will not be ashamed if you trust in God. Amen. Blessed is the nation yes. whose God is the Lord. Yes. Meaning you yes. put your trust in Him, not yes. just saying, well, He's our God, but it means that you put your trust, you believe Him. Yes. Blessed is that nation. Blessed is that person. Yeah, yeah. Blessed are those people, yeah, glory to God, yeah, who put yeah. their trust yeah. in God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank, you, Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. My, my, my. Thank you, Lord. This is exciting to know that this great and awesome, powerful God has spoken to us the way that he has and it shows where we are. And now we realize, man, no, 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 no. There's nothing to worry about when God is on your side. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Nothing to worry about when God is on your side. Thank Nothing. You, yes. So there's rest. Yeah. So your blood pressure ain't going up. Your sugar level is not going. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not trusting God and never trusting God. <laughs> but you know, one day, sometime in the by and by, hey, slip up. Glory to God. Uh, I'm trusting God because I know He is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So when God looks at ah, oh, here's yeah. my son. Ah, yeah. oh, here my daughter. That's what He wants. Yeah. Yeah. That's what He wants to see. Yes. In the midst of whatever, Thank my you. faith. Yes. Is in you, my rock, my yes. shield, yes. my yes. salvation, yes. my exceedingly yes. great reward. Yes. Oh, yes. Glory. Yes. oh, glory to God. Oh, God. God. I tell you, man. Oh, he's awesome. Let me get to get to him. Go ahead, Pastor. What do you say? He's awesome and he's awesome all the time. He's awesome all the time. Yes. You know, we, we make oh, God, we make God. it seem like if God is dead. Yeah. Oh. It's because you just bury God. Yeah. Wow. We buried oh. God yesterday. <laughs> So we're in the funeral, oh, God has just God. died. He's not. Amen. So we are to rejoice. Yes. When the saints come together, there ought to be songs of joy and rejoicing. Not in ourselves, we rejoice oh, because yes. of his ability. We yes. know Alleluia. who he is. Alleluia. Like David, we yes. dance yes. like David. And yes. dancing like David is not like this. Isn't it? Dance like David. No, he jumped and he span. You know, leap in the air, yeah. praising God, thanking yeah. God for who he is. And people, he, he, that's our God, that's our Father, that, that's Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. He has not changed. He can. I'm just, I'm just excited about this. I'm just excited about this. I'm just excited about this. And I hope that you are. I hope you're rejoicing. I hope you're feeling uh, the Holy Spirit stirring your heart. I'm just looking at the time to make sure we're on time here. You know, just I, I just wanted to just rejoice in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's good. He's awesome. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling here. It's, it's hot. <laughs> you see, that's what God wants from us. Yes. And so we want to promote Him. We want to, you know, we want to just let others know. It's not, not draw, we're not drawing you to us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are supposed to be pointing you to Him. Yes. And you have an experience uh, with Him for yourself. Yes. And experience the ability of this great and mighty God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Son, awesome. Thank yeah. You, yeah. How are you feeling? It's amazing to know that God is Almighty. Yes. He is Almighty. This is who we serve. This is our Father. He's our friend. He's our God. This is there is none like Him. Oh so God. to just praise Him is a privilege. Yes. To just trust Him is a privilege. We have this confident trust in who we serve. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Gloria, we 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 almost out of time. Yes. It's a pleasure to be with you. This is all the time we have this morning. And until next week, Monday, the Lord's willing, the yeah. same station and 5 a.m. Glory yeah. to God. <laughs> Every Monday morning, it's a pleasure to be with you. And it's such a joy to come to get God's thoughts with you, to you and with you. This morning, I trust that you're dancing, rejoicing, and both on your job, uh, in your workplace, whatever the situation is, with the confidence that God wants you to have. That you, he, he is able to do abundantly above and beyond what you can yes, really yes. imagine. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Wow. And may we know that we know where we are. 
continue to along that route, making what we say line up with our responses. Amen. Let's step out in faith and believe all that God has said about Himself. God bless you, Trinidad and Tobago. Bless you, TNT, until Monday. The Lord's willing.